，你愿不愿意和我在一起？This day, Jingjing finished the annunciation on her hand, preparing to return home for the spring festival, but found that familiar figure had been waiting her by her car. But at this time, Jingjing did not want to talk to him, and Yu Tu is the first to speak, said that he wants to go home in Jingjing's car. This time, he chose to make the first move. He must courageously pursue his love, and the reason why Yu Tu can easily know Jingjing's track. Is all because the help of our lovely Xiao Zhu. Jingjing also guessed immediately that it was Xiao Zhu who told him the address. Then Yu Tu said to driver that he don't have to drive them home. He will drive Jingjing back himself. You have a driver? Of course. Sometimes our agency will take some hidden environments to do some tests, such as like the Shang Mo Gold Mine. I've seen them. So I can tell you, you can trust me. My driver. The two in the car were silent. Jingjing looked at the driver's license of Yu Tu. How did it come to this? Jingjing wondered and asked him how he appeared here. Don't you have to go home for the spring festival? Yu Tu said he had just come from Ishing this morning. If yesterday wasn't New Year's Eve, he should came here last night. Because of Jingjing's reply, he was anxious. He just want to see her as soon as possible and be by her side. On the way back. He stops the car in the service area on the excuse of refueling. Jingjing also went to the bathroom. When she comes out, found Yu Tu had been waiting for her outside. Yu Tu explains that it is too late to be alone on herself. Too late, not too late. Jingjing, however, walks straight to the car with no expression on her face. Yu Tu, knowing Ta Jingjing is angry with him, so he hurried on. Stop Jingjing as she gets on the car. He couldn't help asking her. Really, no meaning. Why do you want to write those letters? Why do you want to answer my questions? Are you sorry? Because I was so stupid before, it made me feel sorry. She didn't want his mercy. Yu Tu also knows that it's stupid to write letters every day. He writes letters late into the night every day these days. But he never tires of it. He thought Jingjing would be happy after reading the letter, but didn't expect that kind of response. Every stupid thing he's ever done in his life has been given to Jingjing. In fact, refused Jingjing's confession of love. Yu Tu already regretted it a long time ago. He's just afraid to admit it. He's been struggling until he spent a month in the desert. Made him completely understand his heart. He didn't struggle anymore. Thereupon. He spends most of his time thinking about how to fix it. Even began to blame Jingjing. Guan Yi, why are you so quick to ask me? If you don't give me enough time, I'll go with myself. At that time, let me ask you how to do it. Why? I don't want to ask. 你愿不愿意和我在一起 ？In the face of Yu Tu's so affectionate confession, Jingjing's heart is also very tangled. Deep inside of her heart, she is willing to accept, but she was not reconciled. After falling on the same man twice, her grieve and small expression let Yu Tu distressed, and Yu Tu holds Jingjing into his arms, keeping saying sorry to her. It's all his fault. Broke her heart. 对不起，对不起，我不要嫁一个我喜欢他、你他喜欢我多的人。这个理由不成立，我没有傻。有的，其实我们不合适。那是因为我们。考虑到那些和苏七的原因，比如说，我能给你什么 ？You two is thinking a little too much. Jingjing's the one who doesn't have time for him. In the eyes of Jingjing, the real love makes one can be impulsive, never need to hesitate and struggle. 
there's no hesitate to be with. Don't think about it that much. Yu Tu knows that Jingjing has not really forgive him. But he was willing to wait. Waiting for Jingjing to forgive him one day. After a while, he drove to the door of Jingjing's house. The two watched the first fireworks of the new year in the car. Later Yu Tu gives the car key back to Jingjing. Then Jingjing finally asked him how to go back. Teacher Yu's tone is too spoiled. Back home Jingjing although playing cards with family at the same time. She's fully focused on her phone. Just waiting for the message from you too. When she finally received it. It's been half an hour after. She guesses. If he still lives in the old town. So she quickly used the navigation to check the distance between the two homes. Turns out they live four kilometers apart. When thinks of herself. In a fit of rage. Let you two to walk so long in the cold. Then feels a little more guilty. Cousin sees Jingjing sitting beside. Asks her to play cards with him. Looking at such a lively scene. Jingjing suddenly wishes you two were also there.